Hey, Mike Roderick here, edutainer at IT Pro TV. Welcome to another episode of How to Get Started in IT. Today we're going to be talking about how to get started in IT security. First of all, let's make sure we know what not to expect. We've all seen the hacker movies. They make it seem really glamorous. And not to say that IT security isn't, but not always, right? While there are going to be some really exciting times, there's also a lot of time spent pouring over log files, entries in databases, and it's not quite as glamorous as a swordfish, right? But it's still fun, and it's still worth pursuing, right? Also, there is no one perfect path for everybody. There is no, this is what you need to do to get into IT security. Because IT security is a really broad field, and it really depends on where you want to go within that field. That's gonna help you determine what it is you need to do. There are certain things that everybody needs, no matter what area you go into. We're gonna kind of talk about those, uh, and that's gonna be, like I said, how you're gonna get started in IT security. One of the first things you might wanna think about is, what team do you want to play for, right? And I say that jokingly, but there are. When we look at IT security, you have things like red teams and blue teams. Red teams are typically the, they simulate the hacker side of things, the attackers, whereas the blue team is the defenders, right, that protect the organization. What is it that you want to do? Do you want to work in the organization and try to help keep the bad guy out and keep your organization and your data and your employees safe? Or do you want to work for that pen test organization where you're trying every different way to get into an organization, find their vulnerabilities, and take advantage of those? Different skill sets involved. There is a lot of overlap, don't get me wrong, but they are different skill sets that you'll need to develop as you pursue those types of careers. So think about where it is that you want to end up. Conferences, meetups, internships, these are all great ways to kind of learn and, and get your feet wet and try to decide what it is you want to do. When you say IT security, that can mean many things. Go to some of these security conferences. Check your local areas. I guarantee you're going to find some, some security meetups, some groups, some public forums that you can go to. If you can travel a little bit, you can definitely find some security conferences that you can take a look at. And again, talk to people. Talk to people that are already in the field. See what it is they do, what makes up their normal day, and what they recommend you do to get into that field. Right? Even volunteer to help some of them. Say, hey, I'd love to intern for you or follow you around for a day and kind of see what it is you do. Right? Now, as I said earlier, there are certain skills that doesn't really matter which side you're going to play for, you're going to need. Uh, starting with OS fundamentals. right? And, and this is the one thing about security I think that throws people the most is they really want to jump right into security and it's really difficult to do that. Not to say that it's impossible, but it is very important that you have that foundation knowledge. You can't secure something if you don't know how it works. And so you're going to need to have a good understanding of operating system fundamentals. Windows, Linux, Mac OS. You need to know how they work and how we keep those guys safe before you can learn how to uh, get into security. Right? Networking fundamentals. A lot of what we do in IT security is based on looking at packets and understanding the way uh, our networking protocols work and how we can take advantage of certain flaws in those. Security fundamentals. Probably goes without saying, but a good basic knowledge of security is going to be important as you go into uh, a security field. So we're talking about things like CompTIA's A+, to learn about your operating systems. CompTIA's Net+, to get those networking fundamentals. CompTIA Security+, Plus to get those security fundamentals. These are great starting points no matter what area of security you want to go into. And then based on what you found by talking to other people and networking, and I mean networking on the human level, not the copper or fiber level, you know, this will help you determine what your next step might be. You're also going to need some programming. Now, a lot of people will tell you you don't need to know programming to do hacking or to be a security professional, but it can definitely help. It's, you're going to want to be able to write scripts to automate certain attacks or to automate certain defenses or going over log files. So understanding, having a good basic understanding of programming, being able to look at code, understanding what's going on, having some knowledge of scripting languages and being able to write your own scripts can go a long way to furthering your IT career, your IT security career. Right? Understanding how web servers work, understanding HTML. Many attacks are based on this. So if you're going to protect from those types of attacks or create attacks as a red team, you're going to need to know that. 
understanding databases, the way databases work, the way they store data, the way we query those databases, retrieve data out of them, the way we try to protect those databases from uh, unauthorized queries. And how does that all work? Uh, Daniel, one of our security resident security experts here at IT Pro TV, has a great video in our library that will go in a little more in depth about what certifications might be involved as you go through and choose one of these specific specializations within security. Uh, so make sure you check that out. Now, how do you get these skills? You know, I've told you kind of what you might need. How do you get them? There's a lot of great ways to develop your security skills. First of all, look for security challenges, uh, capture the flags. You can go out to the internet and you can do some quick searches and you can probably find some open source tutorials that will walk you through basic security techniques and how to secure machines and how to break into those machines. Capture the flag challenges can be a lot of fun. Um, and you're going to learn a lot as you go. You've got to figure out how to get into that machine, how to find the ultimate prize and whatever that challenge might be. So this is a great way to start building up your skill set. Certifications are also another great way to not only um, gain the skills because you're going to need to study to pass those certifications, but then to prove to prospective employers that you do have that knowledge. So think about where you want to go and what you want to do and what certifications might be appropriate. Check out IT Pro TV, for example. We've got a great set of security courses in our library. As I said, Daniel does a great job of walking you through many of the things that we've talked about here. All right, so those are just a few ideas of how you might get started in the IT security field. If you've got your own suggestions, make sure you put them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe while you're here so you don't miss out on the next episode of How to Get Started in IT. I'm Mike Roderick. Thanks for watching.